13.2, what is absolute value? The distance a given number is from zero is represented by the function f of x equals the absolute value of x. So those two bars, that means absolute value. x represents any real number, meaning any fraction, decimal, um, any number I want, negative or positive or zero, I can plug in for x f of x, the output, the dependent variable, represents that number's, um, I think it's apostrophe there, my grammar might be off here, distance from zero. So just what we did in the do now, figuring out how far things are from zero. Um, fill out the table below. Do any of the rows have the same output? What do we call the inputs with the same output? All right, so if I'm looking at this first row, I see x is equal to negative 2. Um, so if I'm going to the number line, right, negative 2 is 1, 2 units away from 0. Negative 1 is just 1 unit away. 0 is right on top of 0, so that'll be 0 units. 1 is uh, 1 unit away. And then I can see that 2 is going to be 2 units away. So do any rows have the same output? Oh, I see negative two and two have the same output. Negative one and one also have the same output. It's sort of like it's symmetrical here. No matter uh, how far away you get, if you're a negative or positive version of that number, you're still the same absolute value away. Both one, both two, both three, both four, both five. You can go on to infinity doing that. All right, so what do we call the inputs with the same output? What do we call numbers like negative 2 and 2? I mean, uh, sorry, negative 2 and 2, they both have the same output of 2. Negative 1 and 1 both have the same output of 1. Well, those are known as additive inverses. Right, additive inverses are just numbers like a plus negative a. When I add them together, I get 0. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. All right. So additive inverses will have the same absolute value. So let me add that. Have the same absolute value. 